Uh, do you see those pictures? Yes. On the left side of the screen is exhibit number 54. Uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, so um, as I mentioned before, there's different stages and processes. So this is in the process where all the soft tissue has been removed from the skull. So we're looking at just the bone. Um, and in uh, the photo to the left, which is marked as DSC 1930, this is the right side of the skull. Um, and just uh, above and forward of the ear canal, um, and behind the ear socket is a defect. It's a, an oblique uh, oblong defect. And a close-up of that defect is seen in um, the photo just to the right, DSC 2035. It, actually, if you could, for purposes of the record, if you could use the exhibit numbers that are there, is that okay? I, I apologize, yes. That's okay, go uh, ahead. So exhibit 55. Uh, this would be the close-up of that defect on the right side of the skull. And the features that are important to notice is that there's a pointy end towards the top and a slightly squared off component on the bottom. This is consistent with a knife that would have a blunt end and a sharp end or we call a single edge blade. Okay. Um, can you make any determination whether or not this single edge blade that caused this wound would have penetrated through the skull? So not shown in this photograph, but by observing the skull, we see that this wound goes all the way through the skull. Okay. And is this the skin that we saw that, the, that was covering this area in States Exhibit 53 before it was cleaned up? Is this the same area? No, this is a different area, opposite okay. side of the skull. Gotcha. So just to be clear, were there two areas of injury on the skull? Yes. All right. One on the left. Correct. And then a penetrating wound on the right. Correct. Okay, let's go back. I just want to make sure we're clear to uh, the previous picture. This particular exhibit, number 53, did, did, do you have any opinion as to what would cause this injury here? This would have been a sharp force injury, so a knife would have, could have caused this. And did the uh, knife, uh, would it have penetrated the skull uh, th that we see here in Exhibit 53? No. Okay. So left side, it does not penetrate, correct? Correct. This would be associated more with her cheek? Yes. And the right side is a penetrating uh, sharp force wound through the skull? That's correct. All right. Go to fifth, let's go back to the next slide. There we go, 54 and 55. Anything else of any significance uh, that assisted you in arriving at the cause and manner of death in States Exhibit 54 or 55? No, we've covered it. All right. Uh, in exam hang on a second. In examining uh, the uh, body of Molly Tibbetts at autopsy, moving to the neck area, uh, were you able to observe any injuries to the neck area uh, that were of significance to you? So during the initial part of the examination, all the soft tissue uh, was absent due to decomposition. It was only after processing the bones and observation by the forensic anthropologist, Dr. Garvin, that additional sharp force defects were identified in the what are called the cervical vertebra or the bones that stack up on one another, forming the neck bones. Okay. And let's go to the next slide. So on the screen here, Dr. Uh, Klein, are exhibits 56 and 57, do you see those? Yes. Uh, do both of these uh, photos represent the bones in the neck area after they had been cleaned? That's correct. All right. Let's go with uh, States Exhibit 56 first. Can you please describe for the jury what we're seeing in this particular photo? Yes, so um, you can see that they're labeled C4 and C5. Those stand for cervical vertebra 4 and cervical vertebra 5. The way the vertebra or the neck bones are numbered is one is right beneath the skull and actually supports the skull and it goes all the way to seven, which is right about the area where your collarbones are. So about midway in the neck, 
this is uh, the exhibit 56 shows the left side of the neck and you can see that there are defects indicated by the yellow arrow and both uh, C4 and C5 show this uh, linear mark which is from uh, a sharp force instrument like a knife and then in exhibit 57 we see the right side of the neck bones and you can see that there's a defect indicated by the yellow arrow. Um, one point of note is that a blood vessel called the vertebral artery does travel through uh, travels through the name of the oh the vertebral artery the right. vertebral artery which is there's four major blood vessels that are in the neck one of those four runs through that opening right next to that yellow arrow in exhibit 57